Hey, you guys, SEK the Homesteader here with another CVS coupon haul for this week, you guys. And guys, you still can do this deal. So you got about six more hours to go and you could get this deal done at CVS. Unfortunately, and I do apologize, I did this deal late last night while I was out. And I had to go to three CVS in order to find the Irish Spring, the liquid Irish Spring. And also they were sold out of the six pack of Irish Spring. So remember early part of this week, I um, got back extra care bucks doing the paparazzi nail polish. And remember I told you guys I was going to roll those $5 into this transaction. Um, so again, I did five transactions on five different cards and I used the coupon, the dollar coupon. And remember I told you guys I was waiting for my coupons in the mail, which I ordered from Slamps uh, coupon clipping services. And you can look that up. They clip your coupons and they mail them to you. So you don't have to go through the headache of cutting them out yourself. And it depends on uh, what do you like to get the most. And a lot of times their coupons do sell out. All right, you guys. So again, I did five different transactions. So let me show you guys how my first transaction went. And I'm going to explain it to you because I had two transactions where I had the coupon and also a Irish Spring $2 off coupon from the red box. So I'm going to show you guys that on my um, receipts. So this one, unfortunately, I did not have the extra $2 uh, coupon that comes out of the red box. I had that on two of my other cards. So my out of pocket came out to be more on, I think, three of my transactions. So my out of pocket was actually $4.25. And I got back $5. So I had three $1 off coupons. And I also had my $5 ECB that I rolled into this transaction from my paparazzi deal. And as you can see, you guys, I got back another $5. That's why I don't like the rush to roll because I want to uh, get the best deal out of my ECBs. Okay. So here's another transaction I did. And I think this one here um, was, yep, yeah, it was the one that I had the extra $2 off from the Redbox coupon. So you see, $2 off soft soap. So I was able to stack my three manufacturers for a dollar each. Then my other $2 um, uh, coupon from the Redbox, the CBS Redbox, and my out-of-pocket was $2.11. And I got back another $5. So again... Five transactions, two transactions like this one. And here is the other transaction, which I didn't have the extra $2. So again, my out-of-pocket was $4.25, but I got back another $5. Here we go again. I had the $2 off. So this, this coupon was $2 off of 12. So in total, three of these will come to $12 and some change. So I was able to use another $2 $5 ECB, and three $1 each manufacturers. And again, I got back another $5. Here we go with the other transaction. Same scenario, but this one came to $4.25, but I did not have the extra $2, so my out-of-pocket was more. It was an extra $2 more, but overall, I got back $5. So, this is a winner deal, you guys. And as you can see, my total and ECBs was $25. My out-of-pocket was, I'm thinking, $12.75. If I'm adding up right, it was twelve. my out-of-pocket was $12.75 for all of these transactions together. And I got back $25. All right, you guys? So... If you guys like rolling and rolling, you can continue to roll because I was tempted to do the paparazzi deal again just to see if I will get another uh, extra care buck, $5 extra care buck. And I might even try to do that this evening. I'm going to try. And if I get another ECB, a $5 ECB, that these are killer deals for this week. Sometimes they put you on a limit. Sometimes they don't. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try my luck just to see. And if I get another $5 back from paparazzi, um, that would be awesome. And I could continue to roll. So this is a rolling deal. And if you're not familiar with rolling, whenever you make rewards, extra cash back, 
ECBs, whether it's Walgreens or CVS, you could constantly roll. I've been in CVS where I see people in there for two and three hours and they are constantly rolling their extra bucks that they get back. I used to do that, but then it could be kind of exhausting too. But, um, so I learned to pace myself. And again, these deals come around every year around the same time. Okay. You guys. So if you miss the deal, don't worry about it. It's going to come back again. So this is my CVS haul for this week. And I did go Irish spring ham. <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed this roll video and make sure you get out there and get to couponing and stocking up and building your stockpile. This is SEK the Homesteader. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you thumbs up, like, subscribe. Peace.